I think we got this call the last week of March. I remember waking up um, to a call from Mark uh, basically saying, hey, look, we're putting together this large scale initiative around COVID-19, uh, are you in? And I said, absolutely. So initially, uh, we started building out uh, just a 3D printing lab to, to help support local hospitals. Um, and, and now it's been taking that idea and, and scaling it out larger than just ASU and, and hopefully to the general public. Several of our labs and associated partners across campus, our campuses have been printing reusable face shield headbands on their 3D printers, as well as laser cutting plastic sheets for us to use as the shields. Every weekday from nine to five at the engineering center here at ASU, we bring in volunteers and assemble these face shields from the components we've processed. We sanitize all the products and bin them for use at the healthcare facilities or hospitals they're intended for. Disposable face shields, they're just a one-time use. Um, you're not meant to wear them for like, you know, the entire day. Um, it's more for like if you see a patient and you need to see another patient. So that exchange, you put them on, take them off, and then dispose of them in a like a biohazard waste. Reusable is you can wear them several times as long as you wipe down. Our standard operating procedures and protocols developed here have been designed to be easily shared and used across the world in different contexts. PPE is going to become a routine kind of um, normal part of everyday activity in a lot of different areas that it wasn't before. And so uh, with PPE of course comes face coverings and um, the expenses related to constantly purchasing these as well as the impact that the supply chain feels when there's such a high demand. We've developed two, and designed two systems, one using ozone gas, one using vaporized hydrogen peroxide, and both of them have the ability to sterilize PPE such as masks, even sometimes in some cases N95 respirators, as well as surgical masks and other, other face coverings that are going to be needed not only for clinics uh, and you know medical providers, but also that are going to be needed in uh, communities, right, at retail shops, at barber shops, um, at all these small businesses. And so our technology, we hope, will be relevant not only now, but in you know the rest of this COVID-19 epidemic as well as any related um, related issues because we think that this technology because it's cost effective and because it's scalable will be able to constantly allow people to reuse masks. I was born and raised here in Arizona. I've always cared deeply about Arizona and so getting a chance to make a direct impact on uh, my local community, my statewide community and through you know one of the three major institutions at the, um, or three universities in the state that's what is most exciting to me.